years we've heard we're supposed to wash our fruits and veggies to get rid of all the pesticides. But on the Consumer Watch, Julie Watts tells us there's now a new residue we need to be more mindful of. They're bright and fresh and the picture of health. But turns out your fruits and veggies may be on antibiotics. Farmers use a drug to control the growth of bacteria, fungi, and algae, and to help prevent fruits from spoiling. But according to a case in the Annals of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, they could be downright dangerous for some. Researchers highlighted what they believe to be one of the first reported allergic reactions to fruits treated with antibiotic pesticides. A 10-year-old girl suffered a life-threatening reaction after eating blueberry pie. While she did have a history of asthma, seasonal allergies, and allergies to milk and penicillin, they tested the pie and confirmed none of the ingredients were triggers. Instead, they linked the reaction to the blueberries, which have been treated with antibiotics. This could explain why so many patients insist that they're allergic to berries, yet when we test them to berries, they're negative, and when they reconsume the berries, they seem to tolerate them. True allergies to berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, any of the berries is extremely rare. Doctors think traces of antibiotics on produce, meat, and in the water supply could have also played a role in the girl's reaction, which they do believe is rare. One batch of blueberries may contain a high amount of streptomycin, whereas another may not. Researchers note new FDA regulations may help to reduce antibiotic contaminants in food, and as a result, allergy concerns like this. Now, many European countries prohibit the use of antibiotics in food, and while they are allowed here, there's long been concern that they can lead to antibiotic resistance. A little over a year ago, the FDA implemented a voluntary plan to phase out antibiotics in food production. And they say, again, this is very rare. In fact, she's the first known case, uh, at least that they're aware of. Of being resistant to this kind of antibiotic. Of being, well, of being affected, of getting right. sick like this and having an allergic reaction from eating berries, which they've now connected to the antibiotic residue. What are you supposed to do, though? I mean, you know, I don't have a lab at my house to test everything to see before I eat it. How do you know what you're buying in the store is any good? It's got all those chemicals and antibiotics and flip a coin, huh? Ken, if I knew the answer to that, yeah. I would be a very rich woman. Right now, there really is no way to know. Wash yeah. your fruits and vegetables. And again, most people are not going to have this reaction. This girl's a special circumstance. Okay. Thanks, Julie.